In this video, you will learn how to replace a fan tray and fabric card in a Cisco 8818 router. Note, to provide better visibility of the components in this procedure, additional fans and fabric cards have been removed from the chassis. To ensure adequate airflow and prevent overheating, do not operate the router with three fan trays for more than 10 minutes. Ensure that these tools and equipment are ready. Follow these safety instructions before you begin. To prevent packet loss, shut down the fabric plane and fabric card. In configuration mode, run the Controller Fabric Plane Fabric Plane ID Shutdown command and commit. Run the Show Controllers Fabric Plane All command to verify that the fabric plane is down. In configuration mode, run the HW module shut down location 0 slash FC fabric card location command and commit. Run the show platform command to verify that the status of the fabric card is shut down. And verify that the fabric card LED is turned off. To remove the fan tray, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to loosen the four captive screws from the front of the fan tray until each screw is free from the chassis. Use the two fan tray handles to pull the fan tray out of the chassis. Set the fan tray on an anti-static surface. Note, we recommend that you replace fabric cards one at a time. To remove the fabric card, insert the fabric card rail extension into the fan tray rails at the top of the chassis. Tighten the two screws. Use a number one Phillips screwdriver to loosen the captive screws from each of the handles on the fabric card. Pivot both ejector handles away from the front of the fabric card. Caution! Pivot both ejector handles at the same time. Do not attempt to remove the fabric card using only one ejector handle. Using only one ejector handle during removal can damage the fabric card. Using both handles, pull the fabric card a couple of inches, about five centimeters, out of the slot. Pivot both handles back to the front of the fabric card until they are in place. Fasten each handle to the fabric card using the captive screws on the handle. Using two people, place one hand under the fabric card to support its weight while the second person holds the top and front of the fabric card. Slide the fabric card out of the slot and lay it on a flat anti-static surface. Note, before installing a fabric card, inspect the connectors for damage. If any connectors appear damaged, contact the Technical Assistance Center. Do not continue with the installation until you have an undamaged fabric card to install. To install a fabric card, using two people, lift the fabric card and position it so that the electrical connectors are on the top. Align the guide bar at the bottom of the fabric card into the guide at the bottom of the slot. Then align the guide rails on the top of the fabric card into the track on the rail extension. Slide the fabric card into the slot until the locking mechanisms on the injector handles contact the edge of the chassis. Loosen the captive screws on each ejector handle and pivot both ejector handles away from the chassis. Ensure that the locking mechanisms on the ejector handles do not engage with the locking posts on the top and bottom of the slot so that the fabric card can slide fully into the slot. Slide the fabric card all the way into the slot. Pivot both ejector levers to the closed position and ensure that the fabric card is locked into the top and bottom of the slot. Caution! Pivot both ejector handles at the same time. Do not attempt to install the fabric card using only one ejector handle. Using only one ejector handle during installation can damage the fabric card. Using a number one Phillips Torx screwdriver, Tighten the captive screws to 8 inch pound or 0.9 newton meters of torque on each of the two levers so that each lever is locked in place on the fabric card. Remove the fabric card rail extension by loosening the two screws and sliding it out from the fan tray rails. 
To install the fan tray, use both hands to hold the two handles on the front of the fan tray. Position the fan tray so that the LEDs are on the top. Align the guide bars on the bottom of the fan tray into the guides at the bottom of the slot. Then align the tracks on the top of the fan tray with the rails at the top of the fan tray slot in the chassis. Slide the fan tray into the slot until the front of the fan tray touches the chassis. Using a number 2 Phillips Torx screwdriver, tighten the four captive screws to 8 inch pound or 0.9 newton meters of torque to secure the fan tray to the chassis. To bring up the fabric card and the fabric plane, in configuration mode, run the No HW Module Shutdown Location 0 slash FC Fabric Card Location Command and Commit. Wait for the fabric card to become operational. Use the Show Platform command to verify the status. Note, the fabric card must be operational before enabling the fabric plane. In configuration mode, run the No Controller Fabric Plane Fabric Plane ID Shutdown command and commit. Run the Show Controllers Fabric Plane All command to verify that the fabric plane is up. For more information, refer to the Hardware Installation Guide for Cisco 8800 Series Routers.